silence encourage the tormentor, not the tormented. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. If you live in the Western world and you consume the dismembered and cut open body parts of dismembered animals, you are not the victim. You are in the privileged position. Just like the slave masters. If you stand, uh, and there was also propaganda from slavery. Maybe I put some links if I can find them uh, before this video open, so that you can see them. That slave masters were so sad, were so extremely uh, good person, and that they'd be so afraid for the slave liberationists. The same why, same way of talking that the uh, farmers now want to use to try to uh, shame the animal rights mo movement and claim that there be violence. The same way the uh, Harriet uh, and their underground railroad being harassed by the uh, slave uh, traders that are called the slave liberationists um, enemies of civilization so therefore I say this always if you are not a victim don't imagine it entirely from your point of view because if you are not the victim History of show. Over and over again. But then become pretty easily. To mock your victims, make excuse for their suffering. Label them stupid and dirty. Say that their life don't matter at all. Turn them in commodities and entertainment. Slave uh, masters. Just like um, John Africa explained, um, creates um, battles wherein blacks, when forced to for, to um, fight with each other, in the same way that um, dog fighters, ironically enough, most of the time dog fighters are. Uh, black people by my observation like a uh, thick how um, being a very good caretaker in the same way that uh, a farmer is a very good caretaker for his animals I compare always uh, farmers with um, thick and his uh, dog fighting uh, friends there have been a lot of uh, comparisons one that um, just like with Vic um, there's a power relation class with um, dog, the dogs uh, on one part and Vic on the other part Vic as exploiter just like with the farmers the animals are the, um, the cows, the pigs, they're being the victims. The farmer is the exploiter, he's the profiter. And farmers get a lot of also a lot of subsidies from uh, governments around the world to subsidize um, their way. And that's the subsidies come also from the citizens. All the uh, taxes, some of them go uh, directly to uh, animal agriculture. So if we destroy, if we uh, have uh, no animal agriculture, the taxes for healthcare can 
uh, go lower. Uh, the taxes uh, for uh, food subsidies can go a lot lower. Also, in the Western world, in America, actually, uh, something like 80% uh, of all the subsidies go from uh, food go directly to the meat, dairy, and egg industry. 1% uh, uh, to uh, vegetables. And in most of uh, Europe, 70% some countries. Um, but I think a generous estimate of uh, at least 60% go to uh, animal agriculture. <laughs> The lines are deep. The propaganda of the abusers is everywhere. But open your eyes, people. The similarities are too great to overcome. To not see. That's wrong. The similarities are too great to not see. If you look to it with an open eye. If you are one social justice historian, you can um, recall, recall most likely all the idiotic and stupid rationalizations the slave masters used to uh, oppress black people. They mean from that they're really stupid, that they're not going to think, that they um, will rape if you not castrate them. A lot of more of that stupidity that been uh, there to try to justify the slave trade. In the same way that uh, slave uh, traders of animals use stupid rationalizations to justify the use of animals. In the same way, if you've been a woman right historian, most likely you'll also uh, know, can also recall most of the stupidity uh, that um, sexist male. Um, used to justify their uh, male dominance over women. And so will also a lot of the stupidity that um, gay rights activists maybe also know that uh, heterosexists are used to dominate um, gays and uh, transgender people, uh, etc. <laughs> they all play the fill in the blank game. Fill in the blank game, like, so, like th something like this. They don't matter. They've been Jews, they've been gypsies, they've been handicapped people, they've been black, they've been white, they've been uh, pigs, they've been dogs. So their life don't matter. Uh, they have been less smart than me because I have an educa education. Because uh, their walk on two legs and their their walk they have no legs. They have uh, venom and that make you less. I have heard a lot of stupid and insane justifications of humans to abuse animals. There no one have not once heard one rational sane justification in my 14 years of uh, veganism. Not even once. That's how insane all the rationalizations that meat eaters use to justify their uh, way of uh, life. Not even once have I ever of one excuse heard that even come close, even a little bit, to justify what we do to animals on a daily basis. Pay them to be artificial inseminate, we've been a euphemism for rape, but take an object and uh, penetrate the uh, feather of uh, cows and pigs 
to inject them with uh, bull and bear semen. And then after that we steal the babies from them. And we put uh, pigs in small uh, prisons. In small prison cells where not can move. So small. And we put uh, cows. Also a lot of times in factory farms actually they put the cows in uh, on a lot of small uh, cages as well. Mo the most of the uh, animals they come not from pa uh, from Papa Mam farm, from uh, from uh, grandfather and grandmother farm. They come from factory farms because that's the only way to s to um, produce so much animals. Any year, around something like sixty to seventy billion land animals being artificial inseminated, murdered and executed to uh, satisfy the uh, fetish of animal body parts. In the US alone, 10 billion animals are executed for a taste spot. In the Netherlands, um, 500 million. We have a small country. <laughs> it's from all the other countries. How much uh, animals have been executed in your country for food? Awaken humanity. I've always one small group of enlightened folks to explain to the masses why rape, commodification, slavery, uh, baby stealing. Uh, exploitation, commodification, um, of this uh, being totally evil and not necessary. How fi how fine will it be if anybody understands justice, logic, and morality? I truly wish pacifism can cure all evil. Sadly. A lot of people don't know how it feels to be treated like nothing. They don't know how to empathize. Sadly, a lot of people are selfish, psychopathic, narcissistic, kints, packs, chaps, nitwitch, a talk here and. Uh, Lip service heroes. Do nothing shit can politicians.